I was scared out of my mind. My legs were shaking and I was as rooted as one of those giant sequoia trees. As I looked down to the river where my dad was waiting for me with arms wide open saying, come on, jump, I got you. Hello, North Coasters. My name is David Garcia and I am the Global Pastor for Spanish Ministries. Thank you for joining us to today's Daily Dose as we continue our, our series on taking a, a, a different look at the New Testament and the characters of the New Testament. And what are the decisions that mark their faith and how we can learn from those and apply it to our life. So today we're taking a look at Peter. We're taking a look at, at Peter in one of mo his most defining, iconic moments of his life is when he gets to walk on water. So we're in Matthew 14, verse 29. And we're going to just... We're just going to stick to that verse real quick because I think there's a lot that we can learn from this moment in his life that can really apply to our lives. For context, Jesus sends them on the other side of the lake and in the middle of the lake, this crazy storm breaks out. There's wind, there's waves, and all of a sudden, they, the disciples see what it seems to be like a ghost. But then like Jesus goes like, hey, it's me. Don't worry about it, guys. Peter takes a chance and then he goes like, well... If it's really you, just tell me to come and walk on the water towards you. And this is what Jesus says. When Peter asked that, Jesus says, um, come. Something very simple. He says, just come. And Peter says here, got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. This is crazy to me because growing up, the, the one character in the Bible I didn't want to be like was Peter. Come on. Nobody wants to be Peter. He's saying dumb things all the time. He's always in trouble. He's like trying to fight people. No one wants to be Peter. And that was, that's what I thought. But then as I grew up and I started reading the Bible more, I got acquainted with his character because I realized I'm a little bit more than Peter than I am like John. <laughs> And then I, I hated to admit that at the time, but now I'm like, no, this is, this is kind of true. And one of the things that I relate to is that how, why in the world would Peter do something so crazy? Why would he do something so crazy? And I think the reason why he did it is for the same reason that I jumped out of that um, cliff onto the river. And it was two simple things. And this is what I have for you today. And, and I hope it blesses your heart. And I hope it, it, it helps you and encourages, encourages you to do whatever you need to do. This is why I think Peter got off the boat and I jump on the river. One, I knew that my dad's heart was good. And number two, I knew that his arms were strong. So I knew if I jump uh, onto the river and something happened, an accident or something, I knew my dad was not going to leave me there. I knew he would always pick me up. And it didn't matter how deep I was. I knew his arms were strong enough to like, pull me out of the depth where I was, and he would bring me to a safe place. I think this is a defining moment for Peter. And I think more often than not, this is the one story that anyone can relate most in the Bible. It's the fact that God has asked us to do some scary things, some terrifying things, and we haven't done it. But he's calling us to do it today. So if he's calling you to make the call, to send the email, to revisit some of those relationships, to go in those like dark places you never thought you would again, I encourage you, North Coast, do it. Because he has a good heart and his arms are strong for you. See you in the next one.